Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do the 10 baby names we love but won't be using tag. I've seen this video like done by a million people all over YouTube and I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it would be nice to do this video before we do our baby name reveal. Um, if you don't know or haven't seen my past videos, we are having a baby boy. I'm due August 20th. I've been feeling very horribly this entire pregnancy, so I cannot wait to meet baby boy, but I've got a ways to go so he can stay put for a while. Um, I wanted to go ahead and share some baby names we love but won't be using. I want to disclaimer this by saying <laughs> that I will not be sharing the baby girl name that we had picked. I am almost 100% sure um, that we are done having kids, that this will be our last baby. However, in the case that it is in the plan of the universe, God's plan, that we do have another baby and it is a baby girl, I don't want to spoil that surprise. So I'm not gonna share the baby girl name we had picked. Most of my family already knows the name, but um, yeah, I'm just not not gonna share that name. So I'm gonna, well, I think all of the boy names that I will be sharing with you um, were actually in the running for this baby boy. Um, let me kind of like explain this. We had already agreed that for baby boy we'd be using my father-in-law's first name as a middle name or first name but I, I was leaning more towards middle name. I'm not going to share what that is yet. <laughs> Again, baby name reveal will be up soon. However, um, it was very hard to pick a name that went with it. Our first thought was to just use a name that was kind of like a, a nod to my mother-in-law's name. So for our girl name we have um, a tribute to my mom. And for a boy's name, we thought, well, we'll, we'll do a tribute to our my in-laws. So my mother-in-law's name is Carmen. So we wanted to think of names that were similar to Carmen, but worked for a boy. So I'm gonna go through this list rather quickly. I'm gonna start with boy names. So the first one that I adored and loved and I was so ready to use was Cameron. And I don't know, I just love this name. My husband, however, was not very in love with it. I'm not sure why. I think it was a little, I'm not really sure. I think it had a little bit to do with the meaning of the name. The name Cameron means crooked nose. So I don't think he liked that. He's very into the meanings of the names. But I really liked it because I wanted to spell it C-A-M-R-E-N, Cameron. And then it'd just be flipping the M and the R in my mother-in-law's name, Carmen. So I thought that would have been a cute idea, but he didn't like it, so we're not using that one. The next one that I really liked and was also pretty sure we were gonna use was Carmelo. And again, kind of like Carmen, Carmelo. However, my husband's family did not like this name. My mother-in-law absolutely was totally against it and it wouldn't make any sense to name the baby something in a tribute to her if she did not like the name. So I um, we nixed that one as well, so no Carmelo. <laughs> um, but I do think it's like a classy sounding name. The next name that we, that well, I guess more that I really love um, that we were gonna use was Elijah. And we were leaning more towards using Elijah as a middle name because my mother-in-law's initials are C-E-C. And so if we used my father-in-law's first name and then Elijah as a middle name, he'd have my mother-in-law's initials. But I really like it as a first name. And I just, I don't know, I just really like Elijah. I like that it's a biblical name. I like the way it sounds. I like the nickname Eli. So Elijah was pretty high up on my list. But again, it just didn't go over well with both sides of the family. So we, we, we like to do family names. We want the family to agree with it. And my husband wasn't really sold on it either. And then the more I said it, it just didn't feel like it fit to us. So um, we didn't use that one. The next name that we really liked is Alexander and we just feel like it's a very classic name. And I really liked it. My mom actually mentioned it and I had thought of it as a middle name. 
and then I was like, well, it would be a nice first name. However, <laughs> the nickname for Alexandra, of course, is Alex, and my brother's name is Alexis, which I know Alexis is more commonly known as a female name here, but in Puerto Rico, Alexis is a boy's name. Mostly, if you meet an Alexis, it's a man, it's a male. Um, so my brother's name is Alexis, and we already call him Alex, and also baby's god godfather baby's godfather is also alexis and we call him alex so i was just like that's a little too much so we didn't go with Ale alexander because so, we didn't want to have another alex nickname my mom did mention calling him xander but i don't know it just it wasn't right for us and the last name that i love but won't be using is elliot and Elliot is kind of like Elijah in that I thought it would be a really good middle name if we wanted to go the CEC -E initial route. But also I just like the name. It's a classy name. I thought it would be a nice first name like Elliot. Um, however, um, well my husband wasn't very keen on it, but also I didn't feel like it went right with my other kids' names and I kind of want the names to seem a little bit more like a sibling set. I don't want it to just be random names. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so I have a Kelvin and a Kaylise, and then I just didn't think Kaylise, Kelvin, Elliot. I didn't think it sounded right. So um, I went ahead and nixed that one. Now let's just do girl names. So like I said, I will not be sharing the girl name that we had in mind if this baby was a girl. But I do have five other names that were in the running for baby girl before we for a baby girl before we picked our baby girl name, which to be 100% honest with you guys, was a lot easier for us than for a baby boy. When we, ha when we found out we were having a baby boy, we did not have a name picked out for him, not anything we could agree on, um, but we already had a baby girl name picked out. So it's kind of funny the way the universe works. But, all right, top five baby girl names. So like I mentioned, my daughter's name is Kaylise. So, the other option we always said that we would name our daughter Kaylin. Um, I'm just, I don't love it anymore. I, I think it's a pretty name, um, but I just don't love it for our family. So that's why that one's off the list. Another name that I really, really liked was Kaya. And I, I'm not sure where I heard this name. I feel like it, there's like a celebrity whose daughter's name is Kaya or something, I don't know, I saw the name at some point. It's spelled K-A-I-A, -A, and I thought, wow, that's beautiful, and I really like it. However, my little sister, <laughs> we gave her a dog for her birthday, and she named her dog Kai, and I just wouldn't feel comfortable naming my daughter Kaya, and there's a dog in the family named Kai. That's really the only reason. <laughs> Another name that um, my husband and I both like is Gianna. I've always liked the name Gianna. I had a friend in high school named Gianna. Um, my husband loves that name, but it's off the list basically because we have too many people we know that either are named Gianna or is similar to Gianna. Um, and my husband's cousin just had a baby girl and her name is Gianna. The other baby girl name that's on my list that we love but we won't be using is Cadence. Actually, if Junior, Kelvin Junior, was a girl, his name would have been Cadence. Um, however, he was a boy. And then I just feel like since then, since 2009, Cadence has kind of grown too much in popularity for my liking. I like classic names, I do. And I do like a lot of the popular names out there. Um, but I just, I don't think I would use it anymore. And if we would have used Cadence, we would have spelled it differently because um, Kaylee's name is spelled very uniquely, so we would have spelled it kind of to work with that, but um, just not a name I'm in love with enough to use for my daughter at this point. The last baby girl name that we love but won't be using is Lila. And I don't think I've ever actually mentioned this name to my husband, and I'm sure he would love it. Um, <laughs> or maybe not, who knows. But Lila has always been a name that I thought was beautiful and classy, and it kind of just rolls off your tongue. However, I don't think it would fit with our family. Maybe as a middle name, but um, 
we like to use family names so it wouldn't really work I don't think but I just really love the sound of it Lila I don't know I like the way it sounds so those are my five baby boy names and five baby girl names that I love but won't be using again baby boys name reveal will be up soon also we've been working on his room nursery area so um, that video will be up soon as well so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new excitingness that's coming up let me know down below some baby names that you love that maybe you're thinking about using or won't be using whatever um, I love to read little baby name lists I think it's fun and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys